Hello, just a quick video to show you what I had to do to access the transmission on my 2009 Chevy Traverse. Um, a lot of guys will tell you you have to, you've got to pull the entire engine and transmission powertrain cradle out of the vehicle to access the transmission. I had a slipping transmission and uh, had the issue of it uh, of a slipping. Most people run into that issue with the vehicle and it is a dreaded problem with the 3.5 reverse wave plate disintegrating inside the housing of the transmission coming apart well mine didn't have that problem it was just slipping but you can see I don't know if it shows up in the video or not but you can see a lot of these plates in here were, were uh, uh, burnished pretty badly um, worn out and then when I opened the case this one was sitting there broken on the end so not helping the situation at all but what I had to do to get it down I did have to remove all four of the mounting bolts there's two on this side there's two on the other side each one of these mounting plates has two bolts uh, on, an, on a separate plate that attach to the frame of the vehicle also um, I have a jack on the other side I have jack stands on this side or, or scissor jacks on this side jack stands actually holding the vehicle up off the ground and um, just a slow slow incremental process also you will have to release your steering knuckle uh, if you don't release that it will hold up the back side of the engine and you'll be sitting there and you know cussing and discussing and why it won't come down and that's it um, haven't run into really any problems with hoses or anything else being in the wrong spot getting in a bind um, I did just go ahead for the sake of having a clean workspace here I just went ahead and unhooked all the electrical stuff that was hooked over on this side of the engine and just tucked it all up in here um, so that's pretty much it oh yes there is a motor mount on this side of the engine that you will have to remove this one right here in order to get to it you do have to remove the fuse panel um, pretty simple process. The fuse panel itself is just clipped in place. It's got a couple of screws inside the top of the fuse panel. You pop the main electrical connectors off of that. Base plate pops off and then there are three screws, or three bolts rather, not screws. Bolt there, a nut there, and a nut there. And then the plate comes off. And you can access the mount bolts there, which will allow you to drop the motor down where you need it. So, yes, it is possible. If you run into this problem, it is possible to service this issue on your transmission without having to pull the entire powertrain uh, system out of the vehicle body. Hope this helps you.